If you've played Nightingale, you've definitely encountered Forest Spirit, aka Carnute. Now, if you don't know, Carnute or the Canute were a Gaelic tribe dwelling in an extensive territory sometime around the mid mid to first century BC. And Canute basically translate to the horned one. Apparently, they were referenced this way because of some horn-like helmet. Don't know if that's true, but interesting. And if you're familiar with Princess Mononoke, then maybe you might not want to kill the Forest Spirit. But we all know who would kill the Forest Spirit. So we're going to go through all the steps you need to to be able to reveal the Carnute from its transient form into its solid form. So you can actually engage with it, attack it, harvest it, and also complete Vanquisher of the Spirits, which includes killing a Canute. But before we get into the process of how to do this yourself, let's have a look at what you're up against and watch me try to get my thumbnail picture. And maybe I bit off more than I could chew. So where will you find Canute? Well, Canute will be pretty much in every forest realm. And Canute by nature is very peaceful. And if you haven't seen it, it can replenish dead trees. It's also a very good creature to follow along if you're around a dense forest and collect wood from it stomping around, as that actually gives you a ton of extra wood. So definitely recommend that. Sometimes you can even find two together stomping around in a, in a pretty dense forest and you can just get tons and tons of wood that way. However, if you've had enough of his nonsense, then you can opt in to basically reveal his physical form and engage in combat. So how do we do this? We're going to start the tutorial from completing up to the watch. So you'll get up to the watch after you've cleared the quest with Nelly. And we won't go into too much detail into that because you will, all you have to do is follow the main quest line that will get you there. So once you do get to the watch though, you will have to talk to a few NPCs. So if you walk in to the watch and you find Essence Trader Lena, if you click on the realm cards, you'll find the Antiquarium Ascended card. That's one you'll need to purchase. We'll need to be able to get to the Ascended Herbarium Realm. And this is the first step in order to purchase purchase the key enchantment to complete this which is dispelled so dispelled is the enchantment that we're after in order to get to the ascended herbarium realm we're gonna have to follow a few steps and i'll try and include everything here so the next thing we're gonna have to purchase is the antiquarium ascended card now that's only cost 20 t2 so absolutely purchase that because that's going to be one of the first steps for us entering out to get dispelled the other things we're going to need is an excellent masonry bench we're also going to need the excellent enchanter and all of these can be purchased from the same trader that we spoke to so Lena, you don't necessarily have to purchase the benches from the miscellaneous trader, but it's essential you get that first ascended card. And of course, and the excellent enchanter's focus. So we need those two to really kick this off. Now it's really important to understand not only will we have to go to the ascended antiquarium realm, we'll also then have to go to the astrolade provisioner, and then finally the herbarium realm. This is because each of the ascended realms hold the key to the next level or the next ascended realm. For example, we have to visit the antiquarium realm to buy the ascended astrolade realm card from the merchant in the antiquarium realm once we get to the astrolade realm we will then have to buy the realm card or the provisional and so on and so forth so each realm is like a stepping stone to get to the herbarium realm so we will go over how to craft these cards and their ingredients now that we've got the two basic requirements we've got the excellent enchanter's focus we're going to need to build it so we need etched ingots the etched ingots can be manufactured at any of your smelters to get carved wood we need anywhere from your refined saw bench upwards so your 
your refined saw table or your excellent saw table. And the requirements for carved wood is just lumber. Lumber requirements are wood bundles. Lastly, we have the cut gem. The cut gem can be manufactured at your refined masonry bench upwards. And the requirements for a cut gem, so your quartz is probably the most available one that you'll have. And then stone powder. To get stone powder, we just need to be able to get uh, two stones. And then you'll see that cut gem becomes available. And then we just need to add our raw gems, stone powder, bing bada boom. The result of that will give you a cut gem. And then we add the cut gem. And there we have it. That's the excellent enchanter's focus complete. And when you open it up, you'll see antiquarium ascended card. Now, in order to get the antiquarium ascended card, we need coated paper and vibrant ink. In order to get coated paper, we just need paper, which can be manufactured from wood bundles. So the coating, we need to head over to the refined mortar station or above, and we need to get fabric. So in order to make fabric, we need to head over to our refined spinning wheel and we need refined fiber. So to get refined fiber, we simply need any kind of plant fiber or even animal fiber. So as an example, plant fiber. To manufacture that, then you'd further refine that into fabric. So as an example, refined fiber. Once the refined fabric's complete, we can create fabric using the refined fiber. Then we need to head back over to the refined mortar station and coating will be available. Once the coating's complete, we need to head over back to the refined saw and construct the coating paper. Now the other thing we require is the vibrant ink. In order to craft vibrant ink we need to head over to our refined mortar station. We'll see here that is we'll see down the bottom vibrant ink. So for vibrant ink we need gunpowder and ink. When they say ink they mean the uh, ink. They mean the alchemical ink which is derived from the refined pigment and the glass. And in order to get refined pigment we just need berries. At least two that will give us the refined pigment and we just need some glass. Glass can be manufactured at any of your smelters and all it requires is gems. So any kind of gem will do. Then you'll have everything you need you'll have your refined pigment and your glass to make alchemy ink once the alchemy inks complete then we need to look at gunpowder okay so how do we get gunpowder we need to be mining sulfur and coal you'll find sulfur and coal in your desert biomes or for sulfur pretty much in any of the caves and any of the biomes nearly have sulfur but your best chance of finding them both together are in your desert realms in the caves or around the, the rock escarpments and then ensure you have enough and once you've got your gunpowder we'll head back over to the refined mortar station and you'll have vibrant ink available and we will be able to build it the these ingredients so we're back to the excellent enchanter's focus and we have the antiquarium ascended card as we have the coated paper and vibrant ink we can go and craft that card however it's worth noting since our objective is the ascended herbarium realm we also need to consider that the rest of the remaining cards are going to require foil paper and lustrous ink we will need to get to the astro ascended then to the provisioner then the herbarium now all of these will require coated paper vibrant ink now in order to get lustrous ink we need to get the excellent mortar station you get the excellent mortar station we can purchase it at any of the ascended forest antiquarium essence traders but it does cost a hundred of your tier three essence and the requirements for lustrous ink is we just need the vibrant ink which we have just made some and then just any old gem and that will give us the ingredients for the astrolade and the provisioner realm also keep in mind that you will need a hundred of your tier three essence purchase the dispel enchantment going through all that so we could end up at the herbarium swamp realm we're going to head over to the essence merchant and purchase purchase the dispel enchantment okay so we're back at our base we purchase dispelled and then we open the excellent enchanter's focus table and we scroll down and we scroll down to our enchantment and lo and behold the spell is not there okay so what does that mean it means we need an augmentation so go into our guidebook crafting searching on dispel we can see that we require the excellent enchanter's focus and then we need with one of the following augmentations so if you have any of these augmentations so the chances are by now you will have at least one of these now if you don't have any of these, all you'll need to do is check under traders and go through until you find where you'd be able to purchase one of these augmentations. For example, the vial display at the Swamp Gloom Essence Trader. So for instance, I decided to go with the Astro Calamaria. I've got that sitting right there. And so now when we scroll down to the enchantments, we'll find that we have the Dispel. Now in order to craft the Dispel, we need the powerful human seal, E2 Essence, Rock Marbles. So Rock Marbles just being the things you'd use in your sling bow. But we won't cover that. That's simple enough cut gem which we've already covered so we'll just focus on the powerful human seal in order to construct a powerful human seal we have another requirement we'll need the excellent masonry bench now you should be able to get the excellent masonry bench from any of the ascended antiquarium realms and it costs you 100 tier 4 essence so in order to craft the powerful human seal we need a hybrid stone and a moderate human seal so we'll start with the hybrid stone the so hybrid so you would click on the hybrid stone you would select two different types of stone blocks so for instance we could go the chist or the sandstone together now to find the you can find a schist in your desert biomes and then going back to the powerful human seal we'll need to get a moderate human seal so a moderate human seal requires carved stone that's simple enough grab any stone
stone carve it you just as seen here carve stone the other requirement is weak human seal weak human seal only requires a stone block and some bones craft those and then along with the hybrid stone we'll have everything we need to create powerful human seal but then we'd have our powerful human seal ear to essence rock rock marble cut gems and bing bada boom we'll be able to craft this spell and once you've crafted this spell all you need to do is right click hit apply and then apply it to one of your weapons i applied mine to my knife and remember you would hold down your r button to change your different spells enchantments sorry enchantments and then you select dispel but that's kind of the entire process on how to get dispel and when it comes to cooking the car new is some reasonable benefits so if we cook it with a bit of salt quite a potent magic food now i'd really love to find a fabled car new so if anyone knows where i can find one let me know but this is just gives you a quick idea of what you can expect or what kind of properties you can get if we we're just to do roasted meat now i have some other recipes i should uh have augmented uh, but you can see here it gives you a rough idea it's not too bad at all but i'd love to see a t4 or a fabled fabled t4 that would be mad that pretty much covers it i'll leave you with some more footage of the car newt in action thanks very much for watching peace out As he dispels, he's also quite aggro, so he will charge at you. Except for this guy, yeah, see, there you go. But man, he looks awesome. Does quite a lot of damage, it's not a bad little fight either. As you can see, he's very strong.